gonna do something different. Ooh. <laughs> Let me use this deck. How do they view you and how do you view them? These two decks. Okay. How do they view you? Three of Pentacles is here. Okay, let me get some more cards. Queen of Swords. And then the Lovers is here. So we have Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and then the Lovers. So this person views you as someone with this Three of Pentacles, someone that, you know, you, you're someone that... um. You don't mind working like in a team or working with other people. You're a good collaborator. And because um, the Three of Pentacles talks about gathering, like collaborating, studying something, researching, or just working, you know, building. You're someone that's the Queen of Swords. You speak the truth. You're very intelligent. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. And um, you're someone that use your, you know, your mind. So it's like you work hard, but you work smart because you're very intelligent. And um, you have love for people. The lovers is here. You show love to everybody. And um, you're someone that's straightforward. You know, you tell people how it is and you don't, you know, sugarcoat things like beat around the bush with people. And um, that could make that person nervous because nine of ones is on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, and they feel like you show love to everybody. You're just a loving person. People show love to you. You show love to people. It's like, you know, the lovers, genuine love with everybody. Nobody had no, you know, bad ill will against you. You're a good person. And people look at you as a good person. How do you view them? Nine of Wands. <laughs> Nine of Wands. <laughs> oh, wow. So this person, as I said, that's on the bottom of the deck. This person is um someone that could be nervous with this Nine of Wands. This could be somebody that was in a never-ending cycle as well. Or they're like a, you know, wounded warrior. Someone that went through a lot over and over again. And um, they still came out a wounded warrior, you know. This is somebody that been through the bat, been through war. And um, they have been battered and bruised. This could be someone that was a, a wounded, like, war veteran. You could see, like, this someone that, you know, served in the war. And this person could be someone that feels left alone. Yeah. We look at this person as someone that's overall at the Nine of Wands. What else? Queen of Wands. So you see this person as someone that's very attractive. They're outgoing. Someone that's um, talented, gifted. Someone that's very goal-oriented. A warrior. This Nine of Wands and Queen of Wands, that just confirms that this person is someone that, you know, they're like a warrior. Someone that's like a protector. And um, it's because they went through a lot. They went through a lot of battles. And um, this person is also someone that attracts a lot of attention. And they like, you know, this is someone that you look at as very attractive and um, passionate. You have passion for this person. And um, you look at this person as a leader. And then Eight of Wands is here. You look at this person as, um, yeah, this person could be coming towards you. This is quick forward movement. You could receive a message or something from this person, or you could be messaging this person. Whoever this person is, that's in question. You could be messaging this person back and forth, but this person is nervous. But this eight of one talks about quick movement, like something coming in quickly. Someone sending you a message, like over text message, uh, you know, over the internet, social media, or could be quick exposure. 
or news that's coming in quickly that you don't see coming. This quick movement. So that's how you feel about that person. And then five of pentacles is here. Four of cups. And then six of wands. So this person with this five of pentacles, four of cups, six of wands, this person feel like they left you out in the cold with this five of pentacles. They could feel like um, you abandoning them or something. They could feel left out in the cold by you. Or they could have ghosted you and left you out in the cold because they were insecure about something for cups. Maybe they felt like you were going to reject them. So they, you know, kind of ghosted you and just left you out in the cold because they were dealing with some type of insecurities. And it was like once they ghosted you, left you out in the cold, they could have thought that you would feel rejected. You know, that you would feel how they felt. But they see you at the Six of Wands. You're having victory. You're someone that's very successful. You, you know, get a lot of attention. You get respect from a lot of people. A lot of people hold you in high honor. You could be doing something online, like have a platform. And this person, they kind of feel left out, like they just ghosted you or left you out in the cold. And they rejected you or they feel like they missed some type of opportunity with you. They feel left out in the cold. After they, you know, could have left you out in the cold. Yeah, the hermit card is here. You feel like this person is in, you know, hermit mode. They ghosted you. This is how you feel about this person. The hermit. And um, this person could have ghosted you because they were under investigation or about something. Or they needed to go within to investigate a situation. Investigate their self. Gain some type of inner knowing, inner knowledge that they needed to know. Judgment is here. So this person could have ghosted you because they were going through karma. And that's why that's how you feel that the reason why they ghosted you is because they were learning lessons. They were being judged <clears throat> for whatever they had done did wrong, things that they needed to um you know heal. We go through karma, whether good or bad, to learn lessons so we could, you know, not do the same thing, make the same mistakes over again. And this is why this person ghosted you because they um, they needed to go through some type of judgment, some type of karma that was unbeknownst to you. Yeah, five of cups in the reverse. This is somebody that's coming out of, you know, feeling embarrassed and regret. ashamed um they could be ashamed of something that they did it could be ashamed of ghosting you or um they could have been it could have been where they told you told them something and they believed you and that's why they ghosted you as well with the five of cups in the reverse because in the upright it talks about you know non-believers when you don't believe something not believing in god rejecting god so it's like this person didn't reject you they just needed to um they possibly didn't know why they ghosted you this person had a lot of karma that they need. You know, they were under judgment for different things that they had did that was, you know, unbeknownst to you. And that's why they needed to ghost you because you would have went through that karma too. But you felt left out in the cold. This person felt like as they left you out in the cold, they missed the opportunity. And now they see you at the Six of Wands having victory. Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. And then Three of Cups. Okay, so this person, they, um, they wanted to connect with you. Three of, I mean, um, Knight of Cups, they wanted to express the way they felt to you, but some type of way they got re distracted. Knight of Pentacles is here and they were slowed down. But it's like they're tying up some type of loose ends and then they're going to come towards you. That's why they have all slow movement around them. They, they're they dealing with this karma. And um, Three of Cups is here. They want to reconnect with you. So they, they, they feel as if you want to connect with them. But it's a lot of stuff that's going on in your life that could be slow movement or something tried to slow you down. 
because you wanted to connect with them because this is how you feel over or how they think you how they feel about you and how you feel about them so they think that as you try to connect with them somebody tried to slow you down knight of pentacles it could have been a friend three of cups that tried to slow you down because they knew that you wanted to express the way you felt to this person or you wanted to connect with this person knight of cups but somebody came in and, you know, slowed you down or tried to slow you down. Could have been a friend of theirs. Could have been a friend of yours with this Three of Cups. This talks about third-party individuals. It also talks about events, gatherings, um, celebrations, people that are close to you. So something like that happened. Yeah. Yeah, but this person, I think that, you know, they think that you want to connect with them you want to express the way you feel to them and um you want to give them an offer but you have went through a lot of distractions throughout life okay let's see how do you feel about them three of cups is here yeah you want to reconnect with this person as well you want to reconcile with this person and then high priestess is here yeah, you want to reconcile with this person. Something was hidden, though. You feel like this person was hiding something from you. Maybe this Three of Cups and High Priestess could be they were hiding something that a friend did to you. And you didn't know. With the Two of Swords being on the bottom of the deck, you could have been blinded from the truth. At the Two of Swords. And then Four of Swords in the reverse. So it's like this person could not have you isolate. With this four of swords, it's like um, maybe they said that you were sick or something like that and they needed to stay away from you. And it's like it this person knew it wasn't true. So four of swords in the reverse, you're not someone that was sick at all. They could have made it seem like you were crazy or something like that. You know how people, you know, hate and lie, but... They could have made it seem like that. And um, this is what this person is uh, possibly think that a friend did something to, and you were blinded from the truth you didn't know. Or one of their friends did something to you and you were blinded from the truth and you didn't know. But justice is here. Whatever happened, justice will be served. So it's nothing that you have to worry about at all. A lot of people get behind the scenes and they tell lies. They spread gossip, rumors, slander. They know it's not true. But it's like they're not going to tell you to your face. They figure they can go to somebody that barely know you and other people that don't even know you. And they'll, you know, have them thinking it's true. And it just didn't work. It didn't fit you. Whatever was told behind the scenes, it was made to be told behind the scenes because this person knew it wasn't true. Whoever lied on you and they were scared of you finding out. That's why they didn't, uh, that's why they got behind the scenes. They fear you. People that hate on you, is jealous of you, they really fear you. They're intimidated by you. They're scared of you. That's why they get behind the scenes and do stuff to you in a sneaky, deceptive way because they know better. Seven of Pentacles, Justice is here. So this person look at you as someone that, um... You've been, you've been building on whatever it is you want out of life and you brought in justice for yourself. They also think that with the Seven of Pentacles, a lot of people invested time into trying to, um, you know, do different things to you. Wait, watching you, waiting on your investments to come in. And they were, yeah, waiting on your investments to come in and not their own. And they didn't get anything out of it. They're watching all of the plants that, you know, the seeds that you planted grow and they don't, you know, they didn't plant anything. They place time into watching you and watching what you're doing for your, um, you know, what you wanted to build for your life. And they're reaping the, reper reaping the repercussions of the seeds that they've sown. And they didn't get anything out of it. But justice is coming in for you, for whatever they did to you. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. So whatever was done, you know, it was people that were at the Knight of Swords, angry, out of hate and jealousy. 
with this knight of swords and they spread it lies and slander and gossip on you. These are people you possibly don't even know. They came in out of anger quick and just lied on you. And then six of pentacles that came right back on them. But the stuff that came out about them was true. Equal give and take. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. And then they also look at you as someone that's very giving and sharing. And, you know, they look at you as whoever lied on you. If it's someone you knew, you always were equal and giving to these people, honest with these people. And if it was somebody you don't know, they just look at you as someone that's very balanced, equal. And people did that to you out of, you know, hatred and anger. This Knight of Wands is somebody, you know, different people that possibly wanted to, you know, have sex with you and things like that. That's coming back on them. If they made, you know, lies, slander and said that you were someone that was quick to have sex with different people. This stuff came out true about them. Whatever energy that they wanted to project off onto you that were lies, it didn't fit. It immediately went back to them, Six of Pentacles. It had to be balanced out because you don't walk in that energy. They do. And they were trying to cover it up. So it's like they were being seen for everything that they tried to lie about you tenfold. They were being seen who, for who they really are. It just went right back, equal give and take, Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in the reverse. You look at this person as somebody that's possibly not happy. And then Page of Cups. Yeah, you look at this person as um, somebody that's not... Oh, okay. They're not happy that um, other people like admire you. Like you could have secret admirers. With this page of cups, it talks about a person that's, you know, have feelings for you, but they don't know how to express that properly. It also talks about a person just admiring you, who you are as a person. They don't like the fact that you're, that other people admire you. Nine of cups in the reverse and page of cups. They want to be the only person that admire you. Yeah, the star card is here. And then Six of Pentacles. They want to be the only one that admire you and they want you to be the only one that admire them. So they want, you know, it to be equal. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. They only want you to see them and they only see you. The star card. They could have balanced their self out as well. You look at them as someone that's a star. They balance their self out and... um. They've healed. This is someone that's like a leader, you know, they, they pour out love to people. It's because they're someone that's um, spiritually gifted and they possibly didn't know they needed to get spiritually awake because they didn't know. Seven of Wands in the reverse. So it's like this person, um, you could look at this person as something that they're, yeah, they're not protected or something like that. Yeah. So they could be around people that they need to um, get away from. And it's like they're not protected. And they possibly don't know that. Yeah. You could. This also could mean that... Um, you look at this person like you didn't block this person off. Seven of Wands and then the reverse is like you didn't. It's like you unblocked this person or you no longer. You didn't, you didn't never had this person blocked. Because Seven of Wands talks about blockages as well. Like blocking somebody on social media. But when it's in the reverse, you never block this person. Yeah, the Sun card is here. They look at you as someone that's, you know, you make them happy. Look at you as happy as someone that's, you know, very peaceful. And then the moon card is here. They look at you as someone that's very mysterious with this moon card. And um, you make this person happy, then Ace of Pentacles in a moon card. So with this Ace of Pentacles in a moon card, they um, could want to give you something. It could be at nighttime. You could see this person at nighttime and they want to give you something. Or this person is, you know, keeping it a secret that they want to give you something, like commit to you with this Ace of Pentacles. The Magician is here. 
you see them as a manifester, someone that has very creative five of wands, <laughs> and then page of wands. <laughs> Yeah, you see this person as a musician, a manifestor. It could be some type of trickery going on. You could look at this person as a tricky musician. They're being tricky also with this musician. And then with the five of wands and page of wands, it could be some type of conflict going on with some type of communication. You could have tried to communicate with this person or somebody was at the five of wands secretly trying to one-up this person, compete with them or something like that. Yeah. This person could be going through some type of conflict with this five of wands and page of wands. And that's possibly why they didn't message you or something like that. Let me get some more on this. The world is here. Yeah, they're breaking generational curses and completing a cycle. Oops. Get one more out for this side. You look at them as they're breaking, you know, starting... Starting new cycles and ending our old cycles. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You look at this person as somebody that's not confused. They're not in illusions or confusions. You get a couple more for how you know this person sees you. Four of Wands. They see you as someone that's very stable. They look at you as someone as you know relationship material. You have a stable foundation for yourself. This also means twin flames. They see you as the lovers is over here as well. They see you as someone that shares the same soul as them. Four of Wands. Two of Pentacles. And then King of Cups. <laughs> oh, wow. They see you as someone that go back and forth in your head. So it's like one, they feel like one minute you're in love with them and one minute you're not. Oh, wow. They feel like one minute you're, um, yeah, they're in love. With it. Yeah. It's like they're in love with you. They know you're in love with them, but one minute they feel like you're not sure and one minute you're not. It could be because you have not, you know, this person just ghosted you and you haven't heard from this person. And this is how they feel that you feel about them. Like you're going back and forth in your head. I'm going to get one more on that. <laughs> and then the chariots. I was just going to say, yeah, but you're moving forward. They look at you as someone that's moving forward. You're on your divine path. And that's what, you know, how they see you on the chariot. 